Hey everybody, what's going on? It's J Dub Steppin. Uh, time to update our Player Unknown Battleground settings. So, for those of you that checked out the first one I had, that was prior to 1.0, and now we're going to get in the ones post 1.0. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Steam, boom. I'm going to go to my library, right click on Player Unknown Battlegrounds, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, TSL Game, Binaries, Win64, and this is where we want to be. now. Um, I'm going to pause here for a minute. If you have reshade, let's go ahead and get rid of reshade right now. So for those of you that have reshade, in my prior video, uh, there is a bookmark section where you can actually see how to get rid of reshade. This is, this is where all the reshade files are going to be. Alright, so delete the reshade files. You don't need them. I'm going to right click on this, TSL Game, Properties, Compatibility. I'm going to make sure this box is checked. By default, it's not checked. But I want to override high DPI scaling behavior. Make sure this is on application. Hit apply. Hit OK. And we're done here. Close, close, close. Now we're going to right click on our video control panel. Uh, first thing I want to do is... Where is it? Right here. Adjust desktop color settings. Set my digital vibrance to 80. It's a, uh, it's your flavor, man. 80 is a pretty good one. Some people might be too strong, but for me, it's just right. Hit apply, and make sure you're using it on the monitor that you're gaming on. So I could set the digital vibrance for any one of my three monitors, but this is the monitor the game's running on. So make sure you do it on the one that your game is running on. Next, I'm gonna go to manage 3D settings. I'm gonna go to program settings. I'm gonna make sure that Player No Battlegrounds is here. If it's not, if it's not there, you can add it. Um, add selected program. Uh, so add browse, and I have Steam installed on my C drive. So my D drive, excuse me. D drive program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and PUBG. TSO game, binaries, win64. And I would just hit that and hit open. And there it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. It doesn't stretch this window out, unfortunately. Make sure that all these match. Alright, now I'm gonna go down line by line. So if you're listening, you can follow with me. But keep in mind when you choose something and you change it. When I hit this to off, I have to come here and hit apply. If I use the scroll wheel, sometimes it'll scroll through these options. So make sure you click on this side, this side slider, and you slide up and down as you see fit. So anisotropic filtering is off, any aliasing is off, the gamma correction's off, the any aliasing mode is gonna override any application setting. Um, transparency is off. CUDA GPUs, I wanna use all. Maximum pre-rendered frames, use the 3D application setting. Multi-frame sampled AA, off. OpenGL rendering GPU, 1080 Ti, which is my card. Power management mode, very important. Maximum performance. Refresh rate, very important. Highest available. Shader cache on, texture filtering off. Like, uh, negative load bias, allow. Uh, texture filtering quality, high performance. Trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and virtual reality pre rendered frames use 3D application settings. So once you have all those adjusted, just go ahead and hit apply. And then once you hit apply, you close that. Next, we're going to open the game. Now that we're actually in the game, I'm going to go to my settings down here. Boom, right there. So some of the stuff has remained the same, some of it has changed. Uh, FPS camera, still at 103. 
screen scale still at 120 but of course this is preference the lower you scale this down the narrow your peripheral vision is but the more zoomed in front of you appears and vice versa so any aliasing i go with ultra post processing on medium shadows very low textures on ultra this is actually like i recommend if you have a low-end computer or a high-end computer that you always use the textures on ultra no matter what uh, effects on very low foliage very low and view distance on ultra now i'm running a 7700k with a gtx 1080 ti um those of you running something less uh, i would recommend running some of these on medium and playing around with it um, but as long as your textures are on ultra, you should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now something else I wanna put out is the, where is it, under control? Um, yeah, where is it, combat. So they split the ADS and the aim, so you can queue those up as two different. So if you want, I actually took ADS and made that my primary so uh, I don't actually aim. That could be something that um, most of you that play like COD or, or play any other first person shooters that don't have that halfway between first person um, aim down sight and halfway between hip fire on first person. That could be something that you, you might want to check into. Something else I recommend is that for better visual acuity, uh, your crosshair color should be on green. Green is a really good bright color but if you're spending a lot of time in front of the computer, you're, you're probably going to want to go with purple or pink. But that's just, you know, I mean, obviously this is your personal flavor. I usually go with purple. Um, sound seems to be working. So if you have surround sound uh, software or you have uh, headsets with surround sound drivers, um, you can go ahead and come back off the stereo. A lot of the time uh, we had... Uh, Prior to 1.0, we were running on stereo, so just left-right channels, because the sound was kind of buggy. But I've been playing around with it, and it actually seems to be fixed significantly. It's a little bit easier to tell where people are coming from. But other than that, that's about all I got for you. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you got any questions, you got any comments, did you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Tell me why you disliked it. Or if you got something else that uh, you want me to check out and give my opinion or get some facts or whatever have you just drop it in the comment box uh, that's it for now peace